believe that the counterculture, which is what we represent, is really like a baby infant spirituality that's kind of birthing. And I think that it started in Conga Square in New Orleans because that was the only place where Native Americans and blacks and whites could get together and party. It's like one more mountain girl stepping ahead. Now give me a one drop. Who push crap on me block? Conscious man defend the youth from your wicked attack. Like you want a gunshot. So we love the youth to the max and we're not afraid for attack. We are them active bark. See it need water and food. We grow them in a path. Yeah, they love brown white block. So we love the youth to the max and we're not stop the cannabis cup it's uh all very philosophical, but it means a lot to me. There's a cup being created in there right now. Most of my tools and most of my techniques are present in any 16th century goldsmith shop. And I've been an amateur medievalist for most of my life, 30, 40 years. Uh-oh, may have to restart, let's see. My daughter decided on the basic shape and idea and then my wife drew it. I first made the cannabis cup in 1994 for the sixth cup. The cup is handmade each year of bronze. I do an addition of 10. Occasionally there are other honorary cups awarded. This is bronze. Everything good and bad about our society comes from the moment when people realized that they could cast this into any shape they could conceive of. Let's go put this in the crucible. When we're ready, we'll turn that on and it will melt the bronze at about 1100 degrees centigrade. There are all the pieces that it takes to make a cannabis cup. And then I'll assemble it in the next couple of days. I'll get a piece of silver and I'll carve the label and it will be done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 15th annual High Times Cannabis Cup Awards show. Please welcome the designer of the cannabis cup, Robin the Hammer Ludwig and the Five Points Band.